position yourself with the who's that already know how to do it. That mind shift is incredibly powerful. Everything that I do now, I position myself with the who's, with the people that know how to do the things that I want to get accomplished. Hey everyone, Ed Weeks Jr. coming back to you again with another episode of the Weeks Weekly. This is going to be hopefully the last of just me. Honestly, looking forward to bringing some awesome guests, have the feelers out for them. Uh, We'll start bringing them in for my network. But this week, I want to talk to you. The first four or five episodes, we've really honed in on marketing strategy. We brought my brilliant project manager, Leanne Smith, on for a couple of episodes. We talked a little bit about AI last week, how it's maybe not the end all be all, but definitely some awesome qualities and and some awesome tools that can be utilized with AI. But this week, I wanted to really just totally shift gears and and dive into more into the M&A, mergers and acquisitions, the roll-ups, the bolt-ons, all the fun pieces that are available to just about everyone's uh, fingertips to to grow business, right? Uh, Back six plus years ago now, when I started my first agency, digital agency business, HV Social Media, uh, I quickly became known locally as the Facebook guy, Uh, realized that, you know, I pigeonholed myself, but I had to start that up from scratch, go out there, cut my teeth in BNI and uh, through the chamber and really locally sell myself and go out there and build a business, right? I would totally not recommend that route any longer. Never would I say to you, hey, go out there and try to build a startup. It doesn't make any sense. You can go out there and buy a business, right? You can go buy an existing agency that already has cash flow and build it from there. And if you look over my shoulder, you'll see that book over there. And I and I want to stress how important it is in any of the aspects you're doing of the who, not how, right? Forget about how to try to figure out how to do all this position yourself with the who's that already know how to do it. That mind shift is incredibly powerful, incredibly powerful. Everything that I do now, I position myself with the who's, with the people that know how to do the things that I want to get accomplished. So let me give you a good example. I have not HV Social Media anymore. Now it's HV Media Group, right? We changed the brand. We positioned ourselves as a full service agency. Going on my team, Leanne, who you've met, if you watched a couple of our episodes, she's a great who. She can do a lot of the amazing uh, things that we do at the agency. She can drive the team, lead the team. She can connect to and reach out to the clients so she can be forward facing and backward facing. And she gives me a ton of time. She's an awesome who for sure. However, uh, if I go in now and I'm looking to grow my agency organically, it brought on a couple of new clients in 2023, uh, which I'm excited about, but we also want to grow through strategic acquisition. We've looked at a number of other agencies over the past few years, uh, and really uh, we were going down a different path, but now we have a couple of really solid deals that we're close to. The beauty is I pick up the who's in those businesses that I'm looking at that can drive the projects. So I, there's who's already in there. So the acquisitions aren't going to take up a lot of my time. And if they are, if I'm looking at buying a job, I immediately move on to the next one. So it's the who's inside those business that allow me to buy them effectively, efficiently, and then add them into the to the revenue mix and make my company worth more money. So a lot to learn from the M&A space. There's so many people. Look, I'm 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 eternally grateful that one of my main mentors is Roland Frazier, brilliant mind. Uh, if you follow any of my socials, you'll know I, you know, was fortunate enough to make an investment in myself and in a mastermind group that allowed me to get uh, time on a private jet with Roland. And what you know, that experience was second to none. Just to get to pick the brains of Roland and also uh, Jonathan Kronberg. I think I say your name right. If I'm not, it's Jay Cron uh, from Kajabi. Uh, being uh, able to spend time with both of those gentlemen and now have them in my network is priceless. It allows, again, me to do so many great things with this who, not how philosophy. I've really changed the makeup of of how I operate. So I'm still building up the HV media side eventually with a project lead, 
who I have in place, I'm going to also build up the sales side of this. So we just kicked in lead generation fairly hard. It's resulting in new clients. I'm doing the selling on that. That's quickly going to be replaced by a sales coordinator and then sales team that can go ahead and drive that forward. That'll go perfectly in coordination with uh, acquiring the other agencies that will also need the sales team at the core. So there's a lot of things to do, but I'm really starting to understand being above the business. I can see that light at the end of the tunnel where I can exit completely from it and have others drive the results, have lots of employees, something I didn't think about doing before. So M&A is what we want to focus on, right? We look at a lot of different pieces to get that done. So that's the agency. Also involved with an awesome medical roll-up. I'm going to bring uh, a few of the players in that uh, medical roll-up onto the podcast over the next couple of episodes. Excited by the progress we've made. Had a couple of initial conversations with business owners in the space, in uh, telehealth, and also in in coding. And we're progressing and moving forward nicely. I think we all realized maybe we were thinking a little too small. And we're going to adjust and go out there now and target uh, some bigger players and really uh, bring a whole cohort of services and pieces that we can do to really grow and expand those businesses. It's amazing what you can accomplish when you start to partner with the right people. So I'm excited about the three people that I am and partner with on that medical roll up. And again, if they're watching, you guys, you're coming on future episodes just to talk about what we're doing and how we can help the companies that we're targeting. So that's the health roll-up, the medical roll-up. Also getting involved now with a couple of other awesome gentlemen uh, to do a larger digital marketing roll-up. Uh, we're really in the ninth inning there to just determine our thesis and how we're going to go about uh, what we do, but it's it's definitely going to be expanded vision beyond what I'm doing at HV Media. That doesn't mean I'm thinking small at HV Media. It just means that it's targeting much larger models and much larger uh, ultimate revenue and EBITDA from uh, that roll-up. So again, I'm going to try to get uh, those guys to come on the podcast and talk about the things that we're doing. Once we solidify that, it'll be much easier on my side. So Super stoked. Uh, oh, wait, there's one more. See, I've got a lot of things going on. Uh, I'm also in, in a home services roll-up that is really just forming. Uh, that partner and myself are obviously uh, quite uh, busy at the moment building things uh on our own. Uh, but we are, uh, we always, we've been looking at a few deals inside of home services. And I think intelligently, both of us will uh, look to more who's, uh, look to a few other people inside the industry. She's awesome. And she has an amazing uh, a business, uh, but she's got her hands in a few other things. And I think we're going to look to a couple other partners to really, really get that rocking. So those are the three uh, major roll-ups that I'm working on, which I'm super excited about. Uh, and the other piece I want to add in here is uh, how did I meet all these people? How can I do all these things? The, I'm in a proud member of the Epic Board, which is Roland Frazier's mastermind, in just focused solely in the M&A space. And the tools and the group and the, and the people that are involved with this are, it's awesome. It's so unique. I mean, forget about meeting the guys like Damon John and uh, Marcus Lamonis, who just both of those guys, amazing human beings. Forget about that stuff. That's that's kind of the fanfare stuff. You get some great proof. But the reality is like getting to meet, uh, just to be in the WhatsApp group is amazing. And, and look at what other people are building. And those are, you know, those are just awesome uh, examples of how you can find other partners. Uh, the one thing that I'm going to start looking at is there's so many people that want to do some of these digital marketing things that we have been diving in and doing for a very long time. So I think I'm going to reach out to others and start building up bigger and better teams to, to really build something uh, maybe beyond all of our imaginations and, and get after that. So the WhatsApp group, and just amazing. I'm should be right now. Today is the last day of uh, an Epic board meeting that's happening in San Diego. I just couldn't get there. Didn't work with my schedule. I've got some things that are building. So I, I couldn't get there. My next visit out there will be in April and I know it will be worth its weight in gold. 
actually can't wait to talk to a few guys and girls and ladies that are out there right now uh, just to see uh, what kind of golden nuggets I can pull from their brains. But having that network allows me to offer so many amazing services as now more of a, of a consultant uh, to help scale businesses, to help grow businesses, to help businesses exit. I've already had you know inroads into private equity where I can help businesses exit. Uh, really know somebody who's amazing in the IT staffing space, uh, but also have inroads into other avenues to help people exit. You know, so it's now it's literally like I would say that we don't work with startups. Uh, we're looking at companies that we prefer to work with that are sub 10 million. We like to bring people to that level uh, and then help them exit if that's their goal. Or if they're looking to exit now, we have a huge network of people that are buying businesses. So there's so many services and pieces that are going to come out of this. And I just wanted to put together an episode that, that really talked about some of the amazing things that are going on. I'm like a like a little peon in this huge uh, network of amazing people and the tools and the resources that are available to anybody that we really work with can help, uh, can steer in the right direction. It, it's endless. So, you know, I've been speaking here 12 minutes. We've talked a little bit about what's going on. What, what are the things that I'm working on? You know, it's the weeks weekly. I'm updating you on just the services and the, and the abilities we have, even this, like I'm going to get into this, like our podcast is doing very well from the beginning for the simple fact that we, it's not us, right? It's who, not how it's, it's hiring the right team to do that. And if you want a podcast, if you want to take advantage of YouTube and YouTube shorts and all the other things that you can do with TikTok and driving real audience to your products and services and, and, and your podcast, like talk to us, like talk to me, like we have the ability to connect you with an amazing team. Like I'm so fortunate to have met them and I met them at War Room, which also happens to be one of Roland Frazier's masterminds was, I was at the last one. Uh, again, I hope understanding here is it, it's, there's no brag. There's no, uh, it was an investment. I made an investment in myself in a time where probably, sh you know, reality should have been just, just start hoarding cash. Uh, no, I'm investing in myself to make myself better, to make my network extremely better and to help or actually provide higher level services than I ever could on my own. The, the who, not how you'll hear, you've heard me say it now, how many times easy book to read. The concept is really simple. Dive deep into it. Understand it. It is life-changing when you realize that you don't have to be the person to figure it all out. It's the exact opposite of where I started back on my entrepreneurial journey and how I started it. Where I started was learn all the hows, learn how to do Facebook ads effectively, learn how to uh, do social content effectively, learn how to do run and Google ads. No, thank you. Learn how to do SEO. No, I'd much rather align with the who's that know how to do that or bring them in, bring the who's in like I have now to be able to offer those amazing services because you've you have the who's. So that's it. 15 minutes, weeks, weekly episode is a wrap. M&A, you're going to start seeing a lot of the players that are involved with me within my network. I'm here to, to just get the word out of the things that can be accomplished. I only covered medical. I covered marketing and I covered home services. Think of all the other industries that are out there. There's so many people in this group that are doing amazing acquisitions, growth, exits somehow some way you're going to want to be connected to that and I look at myself now as positioning myself as the who that can make that happen so that's it for this episode i hope you enjoyed it look forward to bringing guests back you know pretty much every episode starting with the next one so we'll see who we bring don't know who it is yet but we will in the next few days have a great day night week whatever it may be be well peace